Alrighty then, successful indie author, 5-Minute Focus, episode 601, Indecision. Flip over here. Okay, there we go. Alright. Indecision. No, Stanley's not in here. He, I don't know where he went, actually. <laughs> He's somewhere. <clears throat> Alright, it comes with the territory of being an author, because you never know what you need to do next. <clears throat> it's very rare that all, all the steps forward are clear. What you have to do is you have to weigh the risk versus the reward. What does each element take, and what will the potential gain from that be? It's not easy, but you have to decide. You can't be racked by indecision. You can't be jumping back and forth between two books, not finishing either. You can jump back and forth between two books, but you got to finish them. But it's like, oh, I'm not, uh, this one, I, I don't think it's the right one. Let me go over here. And then you work on it for a while. It's, ah, I don't think this is the right one. You go back to the first one. Indecision gripped in the ugly, the ugly claws of indecision. You have to decide. And then you have to move forward with it. So you pick that first book, you're writing on it, and you say, ah, this isn't exactly right. Keep going. Get to the end and then figure out what went wrong or figure out what went wrong in the meantime, in the middle of it, and move it forward. Figure it out. Fix it. Finish it. You can't do anything if you don't have a finished book. <clears throat> Not deciding will cripple your business. Because as you're moving back and forth between two books, as you're moving, you're spending too much time marketing and not enough time writing new material, more indecision. You have to weigh risk versus the reward. Probably once a week. You don't have to do this every single day, but you need to evaluate where your business is and where you want to take it. <clears throat> What's your goal? And what will best help you achieve your goal? Having clearly defined goals is important for your business, whether it's uh, a lone person business or a big corporation. You have to a lone person. We call that a sole proprietorship in the big in, in the big people world. <clears throat> um, what will help you best achieve those goals? Corporations they put out their vision, they do all that kinds of crazy stuff. <clears throat> it's because. They're trying to keep everybody aligned, moving toward that corporate goal, that corporate vision. Are we achieving what we want to achieve? Do you know the steps? This is another important point. You've got your goal. I want to accomplish this. Well, what are the steps in between there? And these are what you're working on. This is where indecision, if you don't know which step you're supposed to do, what do you do? Oh, let me go work on this over here. And now all of a sudden you're distracted and you're not moving forward towards finishing that book that you wanted to finish that is critical to this trilogy that is going to shake the world up. It could. It won't if you don't finish it. So, indecision. you got to decide what you're going to do. you got to decide what you're going to write. Is that story good enough? It is. It was good enough in your mind. It was entertaining. You just need to get it down on in words that same way. And then, what are the steps to get where you need to go? So once a book's written, then what do you need to do? Ah, market, campaign, uh, uh, advertise, uh, share. Make sure the business can take all that revenue, those buckets of money that are raining down on your head. Make sure that you account for that stuff. Because it very well could. All right? Success also is a big challenge. What do you do? Those are easier decisions to make when you've been successful. However... You do have to think about them and make what's best for your business, risk versus reward. All right, indecision. Don't let it catch you in its ugly grasp. Peace, fellow humans.